Hello, this is Dr. Rith Shaham and hope you are doing very well. Let's talk today about the syringe driver or syringe pump. We're going to discuss about how we write the prescription for a syringe driver and syringe pump, what different types of medication we can give through the syringe pump as well. Uh, the syringe pump, this is a system to administer a drug to someone through the subcut route uh, continuously. What I mean uh, to, to say is that over 24 hours as a continuous process. Uh, mostly it is given to the patients who are on end of life pathway or who are on palliative care, but this is not limited to end of life or the palliative care only. Um, this is the generally we give to these patients, but someone who requires a frequent injection and the other routes are not compatible because of some malabsorption or anything else. So the syringe driver or syringe pump can be used for that patients as well. Okay, um, let's give a look to uh, the prescription for the syringe driver. You can see that this is how it looks like. So this is quite simple to be honest. So it comes the patient name, hospital number. Um, once we go through that one and the medications, we're going to fill this one. Um, allergies, any allergies, date of birth, patient location, any ward um, where the patient is, and consultant name. Then you have the medications here, one, two, three. And then their doses in words and figures. So you need to write here, okay, and what are the indications. And subcut over 24 hours already being given over here. Then the next thing is that you want to mix all your medications in uh water or in normosaline and what final volume you want so you need to tick one from here and one from here whatever you want and then it's your name and the signature and date and time and that's all and that's all okay um this is for the stopping and this is for the f uh, fentanyl patch uh, but mostly we use this one over here when we are prescribing uh the syringe pump to someone okay now let's talk a bit detail about that now uh, you can see that here it's only uh, the space is given for only three drugs so in syringe pump you can give either one drug or two drugs or a maximum of three drugs and that's why you can see here that there's only space for the three drugs so you can give either one drug or you can give the two drugs in the same syringe pump or the three drugs. So you make actually a cocktail of the medications, but maximum up to three drugs, not more than three drugs. And these drugs should be compatible. What I mean by that is there are certain drugs which you can't mix. They are not compatible like um, cyclozine. Okay. Um, you can't mix it with the, you can't combine it with the hyoscine. Uh, okay, let's go towards the drugs now. Um, okay, so the drugs analgesics were given for the pain control um, is morphine, oxycodone, fentanyl, diamorphine. Okay, uh, anticholinergics that we give for um, to help with the respiratory secretions. Uh, that is hyoscine, butyl bromide, glycopyronium, hyoscine, hydrobromide, um, antimetics, metoclopramide, haloperidol, cyclozine. And antimetics, that is levomipromazine. And then we give for the agitation, midazolam. So let's go through quickly again. For agitation, midazolam, antimetics, levomipromazine, um, painkiller, you know that codon, uh, oxycodone, diamorphine, morphine, antimetics, metoclopramide, haloperidol, cyclazine. These are the some of the medications that are commonly used, but there are the other medications as well, which you can give through the syringe pump. Um, anyhow, keep the, these things in mind, and we're going to go back to the over prescription, that how we write that. Okay, let's start it. Uh, let's change the color first so that Okay. Okay. So here is the name. Simple is that. Okay. Our patient name is. Let's fix. 
uh, fill this one abx a hospital number two three eight nine five seven that's an imaginary number whatever the number is given to you you're going to write that one the patient's allergies say for example the patient is allergic to penicillin so write the penicillin board letters okay date of birth you can write any okay um with the year with the with the month and with the day patient's location say for example it's in amu acute medicine you can consult a name you can write here now comes here your drug so whatever the instructions are given to you okay and whatever you want to give to the patient you need to write the drug name here in bold letters say for example i'm going to give someone glycopyronium so as a whole you're gonna write glycopyronium okay what dose I'm, i want to give i want to give 600 mcg now you see over here in words and in figures as well so you need to write in the words and then in the uh, in, in you have written that one in, in, in the figures, you need to write that one in the words as well. 600. Uh, yeah, um, so little space. So um, I'm not, I can't write as a whole, uh, but you need to write as a whole 600 microgram, all in bold letters. Okay. And what's the indication for that? Respiratory secretions right as a whole it's um on the screen you can't write as a whole like um there's a, there's a little space here uh, but on the paper when you're writing that one okay you can you have a sufficient space you can write whole okay either i can give this one okay but i'm combining two or three medications just to give you the idea the second thing i'm giving over here is uh midazolam midazolam Okay, how much midazolam I want to give? Say for example, ten milligram. So I need to I need to write here ten milligram. And why I'm giving that one for agitation. And third one, say for example, I want to combine is L fentanyl and what's the dose for that say for example 1.5 mg so i'm gonna write one and half milligram and uh what's for that okay pan say for example okay so uh, i have written these three medications okay just to give you an idea but you can give one you can either combine these two or either you can combine the three um to the patient uh, depends on what instructions uh, you are giving and what you want to give to the patient okay now come down okay you want to make an infusion of these drugs in water for injection or the normal saline so you need to tick one so i'm giving in water for injection most of the medications through a syringe pump you can give for water give in water for injection except a few medications that you need to give in sodium chloride like dexamethasone like octreotides ketorolac okay and levomipromazine these these medications you need to give in normal saline rather than water for injection but all my medication these are compatible at the uh, for the water for injection uh, those four i mentioned you need to give in normal saline and what final volume you want whatever the instruction is going to you so if say for example 17 mils so one tick is from this box and one is from this box okay so either you want to give it water for injection or sodium chloride tick one and what final volume you want 17 ml or 22 ml okay you're going to tick that one and here comes your name okay here comes your name and your signature and date the date when you're prescribing this one in the time and that's all it's quite simple this one you can see it's a stop one so when you're prescribing it's not a thing this is about some fentanyl patch okay um if the patient is having that one okay yes if not no patch strength 
it normally comes as 12.5 25 light um but normally we we do this thing here when we are prescribing that one until unless you have the if the patient is having fentanyl patch then then um you can fill this one but mostly mostly you're gonna come through this thing okay and that's all that's that's quite simple um okay the medications mostly the medications you can give in uh in, in water for injection accept these medications dexamethasone ketorolac levomipromazine octreotide um that's um you um that's you use for levomipromazine nausea and vomiting um yeah that's that's all about the prescription writing thank you